Hey, what's going on? All right, so if you're stopping by, chances are you are um, curious to know about this water filter, right? Now, in a previous video that I did uh, titled Tap Water Versus Bottle Water, please check that out because in that video, I do a couple tests on about three different type of water sources, tap water, three different spring waters, and what I found out was that tap water uh, was the best idea of drinking water according to <clears throat> this TDS alright this is basically a water tester uh, you can get these online or you know at a store wherever they may sell water supplies now it's important to note that these things can be sold for eight bucks however they can be fake if they're sold for eight bucks and it can give you false readings so it's important to just pay the money up front if you want accurate testing so what I'm gonna do now is I, I went online and I stopped I didn't really want to drink tap water due to tap water having so much fluoride chlorine and other chemicals in it now I said to myself we all need water to survive and unfortunately I don't know why they think putting fluoride in our water is gonna cure us if anything is gonna hurt us just like the lady said in one video if we think about the logic between how is fluoride helping our teeth through our water when it's only on your teeth for a split second when we drink the water we're not doing we're not doing that so how is it helping our teeth it is destruct, destroying our inside. Enough of that. Just note that fluoride, lead, a lot of chemicals are in the water and it's not good for us. Um, so what I went and did is I went to Walmart. And until I'm able to, you know, set aside some money to get a house filter. And many of us are in that same, you know... Uh, situation I found a good alternative and it is this water filter and I am about to open it and share with you guys uh, what I found and how this can be beneficial so here we go I picked this up from Walmart it is called zero water okay what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over some of the instructions and then we we'll go from there. Now, what I did notice is that on the front, it do have this same exact water filter. So this comes, I mean, excuse me, water tester. So this comes with the water tester, all right? My water and my, uh, my water and my water and my con complex gives me 50 a reading of 50 which according to this um 50 parts per million is uh ideal drinking water so it's good water however it does have a lot of fluoride and other chemicals but we're going to get more into this i'm going to go ahead and open this up now this may not be you know, idea to get everything out of your water, but to me, it's better than just the regular ones. And the reason I say that is because I seen one word on here that got my attention, and I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. I was reading the water filter. All right, so it gets rid of lead. Um, chromium, whatever that is, another form of that word, chromium, uh, hydrogen, hydrogen sulfides. Now it doesn't really get the fluoride out and stuff like that, but it does get the lead out. And uh, right now I'm worried about the lead. Lead is something you know everybody's on high alert about. So I am working towards the filters that gets the fluoride out, but until now, until then, 
this is what I'm going for. It also reduces mercury, which we don't want mercury because mercury, it messes up your penile glands and all stuff and get your focus off. Um, and then, you know, those things that I mentioned before. So this is supposed to turn regular water into great tasting water. It ain't going to be the best water, but it's going to be better than what's already coming out of the faucet. It's just a temporary fix. Um, I suggest anybody to do your investment into a home water system where you actually get the one that removes all the major contaminants. And I did post a link to a site. The one for one to two people is about four hundred dollars and you change the filter like every three months so it gives you a reading when you should change it so you don't have to guess or anything like that and so what I'm going to do is take the top off it comes with this big filter here as 99.6 effective against dissolved uh, solid solids so it is a five stage filter which is a good filter and you know um, I think you can open this up but I'm not going to it got five stages here all right so open this up take all this out my dog is sitting down there he's waiting for me to throw something on the floor all right, so here is the filter, I mean the tester. As you can see, it's one just like the one I purchased here. It's a TDS. Um, it may be probably one of those little cheap ones, but I'm gonna do the test on this one, see what's the reading, and I'm gonna do the test on this one as well. All right, it gives you the little meter thing if it's between zero to one no known uh, stuff in there zero two to fifty naturally occurring in only a few cities fifty one to two hundred most water in the US that's bad two hundred to three hundred experts Expect slightly lower capacity. Don't want that. 300 to 500. Most users will notice shorter filter life. Okay. 500 plus. The highest TDS water. So it's basically saying. Uh, when the TDS water meter reads 006. It's time to replace your filter. 006 is time to replace your filter. That's kind of odd. I'm going to read more into this and see how they are uh, categorizing this. But it also gives some tips here. Make sure that the filter is twisted in tightly. Rinse and dry your pitcher dispenser. Check the O-ring on the filter. Make sure you are pouring your filter water into a clean glass. Check for cracks and etc. Okay. And then it has some directions here. I'll remove everything like I did before. Twist in the filter from the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Got the filter. Don't want to over tighten it, just going to tighten a little bit. Next thing you want to do is uh, fill the reservoir with cold tap water. Place lid on top. Allow all water to pass through the filter before filling again. So you don't want to fill it until all the water is out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wash this off.
wash the filter off because my hand is all over it. And I'm going to come back with the test. All right, so I'm back and I filled the water, right? Um, basically, what I did is just took this lid off. Uh, took the whole lid off, put the water in, filled it up, and I left it. Um, you don't fill it again until it's completely out. All right, and there's reason for that because you want to get a filter enough time to debubble or or stuff like that. But that took about 15 minutes, right? So this is a slow watering process, and I've done it twice already. But let's go ahead and do the test. Uh, this one, let's see, can you see that? Let's go down just a little more, or let's push this back a little more, maybe. All right, so you guys, so I have right here just some regular tap water. I have an empty glass and of course the filter water here. The main thing this is gonna get rid of is some lead and some more impurities. But it's not gonna get rid of fluoride. I've already stated that. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. <clears throat> Probably can't see me putting the water in there, but give me one second here. Didn't mean for that to happen like that. Nothing never goes the way I want it to. All right, I'm not doing this video over, but here we go. I got the water. I'm just gonna go ahead and Press the button. It don't come out as smooth. Uh, that's one of the things I know. It, it comes out all wobbly and stuff. So it's not a, a steady flow. Now I'm going to start off with the test. With the one that came with the filter. And I'm going to start off by testing uh the good water first why not i'm gonna go ahead and press this on this one goes it's three zeros i'm gonna put it in you want to put it in about two inches <clears throat> you let it stabilize and believe it or not this is at zero 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 that is really good it has not even moved one bit. That's perfect. When this get over six zero zero six, it's time to change the filter. So that means it don't have lead. It took all most of the contaminants out, and what have you. Now that's the that's the claim with this test. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and put it into the regular tap water. And is at 40. Remember I told y'all earlier that my tap water is at 50. So this is reading 41. That's ideal drinking water still. But it's not zero. It doesn't have zero. So it still has some contaminants. More contaminants than this just removed. Now I'm going to get a test with this one. I paid a little more for this one. That one came free. All right, I'm going to turn it on. This one has zero, zero, zero. I'm going to put it in here. Zero. Zero. One. This one gives a little better reading. Like I say, zero, zero, two. It's going between zero, zero, one and zero, zero, two. It's still not zero, zero, six. That's when you know it's time to change the filter. So that's still good. We're going to put it back in here in the regular tap water. So 
43. So the readings are accurate on both of these TDS tests. If you uh, want one of these TDS test thermometers, this one is giving her accurate reading and you don't even have to go spend a lot of money for it. This one, I paid $40 for mine. So you can, you can get, you know, two birds and one stone. Pay one forty dollars and get your TDS test with it at Walmart. Again, this is the Zero water filter. All right, and um, yeah, drink it up, baby. Tastes good. Now, one of the precautions that uh, I'm I'm, I'm going to continue to do my research with is a lot of things they it adds stuff to the water it doesn't take out it just adds but i'm pretty sure most of the contaminants got caught through the charcoal and all that stuff that's in that filter because it's a five stage filter so that's pretty good so leave me a comment below let me know what filter you use and let me know if you use this filter the zero filter from walmart um let me know if it works out for you if you think it's total bull bs and uh until then next time i'll stay tune subscribe and and i give thumbs up to this video thanks for watching